met up with dedicated Paralympian Bethany Woodford to find out how she's been in after her summer break. How does it feel coming back from a break? Is it hard to get back into it? Yeah. But I mean, I guess when you kind of start your break, you're like, oh, God, I really need a break. You know, it'll be good to like, have a time apart from it. But then you get to the end of the three weeks and you're itching to get back. Because, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's been your life like the whole year and you've yeah, got these three yeah. weeks where it's not like a, a normal year. Like mm -hmm. the first kind of six or seven months would be like six days a week. Um, like five hours a day, like type thing. For me, it's quite hard because there's, there's there's three of us in Great Britain. There's me. There's um, two other athletes who are in my same class. Mm -hmm. One is the 200 meter world champion, and another girl is really high up there as well. And they're all battling like at a high level. Mm -hmm. So you know, there has been a lot of races where we've all been in them, and like you know, one of us would come last, or in the three of us, and that's quite you know, you spend a lot of time working hard for something and it doesn't come through yeah but I mean the, the enjoyment of it is working hard for it. I mean every athlete's used to losing even able-bodied athletes that's mainly what we do is mm. we don't win we lose because mm -hmm. there's so many people out there yeah um, wanting the same goal with your training um, and you being a world champion um, how is that how does that affect you as a young person and are you not able to do things that say some of your friends are doing at the moment like yeah. going out and drinking and how do you feel about that? I mean, my friends are completely and utterly supportive so okay. I, don't, like, I don't feel pressured or I don't feel peer pressured to do what they do and yeah. also I feel like this is you know, a chance and a million that I've got to go to next year and, and if I blow that <laughs> then I mean that would be far worse than saying oh yeah I had like four parties this year which were amazing. <laughs> yeah. I mean people ask me how did you feel I mean how you know how was it to win that gold in mm -hmm. New Zealand but for me it's just kind of a dream like I, I couldn't physically tell you how I felt within that race or after that race or even if it was real or not real. <laughs> but the British athlete will have the strength will have the form to hang on to take this gold medal it could be a close finish though for the silver medal with the Russian challenging the athlete from the Ukraine it was real. <laughs> <laughs> it was real. Yeah. I have to keep pinching myself, but yeah, it's it's hard to. You, I think you remember like in your head the races that you lose more than the races that you win. I think there's quite a nice uh, shot of me when I've won, where I've got my hands on my knees and I'm just literally taking it all in. Cause yeah. I couldn't. I can't for this day remember how it felt to kind of come across that line. Wow. It feels quite you know, magical and it feels. Like it was a dream, basically. Also because you know I moved home, I moved out of home when I was 17 to come mm -hmm. to London, mm -hmm. and I spent too much, uh, two months grafting for it. And you know even even in the call-up room, I didn't think, I didn't think to myself that I would get gold. You know I wasn't even thinking yeah. about gold. Like I was thinking about my processes within the race. Yeah. And so it was it was quite a shock to actually go, whoa, you know I, I won that. I can't